تورم فوق العاده از خارج به کشور ما تحمیل میشه به طوری که از دو سال پیش که قیمت‌های صادراتی نفت در کنفرانس تهران تعیین شد ما به طور مداوم شاهد افزایش قیمت کالاهای وارداتی بوده برای مثال کافی است که تذکر دهیم که در حال حاضر بهای کالاهای اساسی نسبت به دو سال قبل بدین قرار است گندم 320 درصد شکر 308 درصد سیمان 300 درصد اش 220 درصد آهنالات 200 درصد روغن نباتی 200 درصد الیاف مصنوعی 220 درصد پوست و چرم 200 درصد مواد کلاسیکی تا 400 درصد that when we started to defend our interests, the price of commodities also rocketed up by several hundred percent. But uh, this cannot continue. If you increase, we increase. If we increase, you increase. We have got to find some solution for this. But if you just say no, the price of oil must come down because we have decided so, this is not possible. You built uh, your progress and your affluence at our expense. So you can't say that we increased the price of oil all of a sudden because for uh, 20 and uh, some odd years, maybe 24 years, we have just been terribly exploited in a very mean way. You and the Americans are, are feeding the world with your wheat and all of a sudden your wheat that was sold for $60 a few years ago, you sold it to for $245 last year or the year before. So your question I don't think is fair. What you're trying to say is, is that we are asking more for our commodities the same way that you are. Yes, exactly. And why? I don't know why you think that you are superior. We won't be pushed around. Is it perhaps that the Western countries are just not used to thinking of Iran as a major world power in any terms whatsoever, whether it's dealing about oil or whether it's talking yes, about an army? Yes, maybe you're right, but they will have to cope with uh, this uh, development soon. That our, our country in the next 10 years will be what you are today. In the next 25 years, according to other people, I'm not saying that, it will be among five most prosperous countries of the world. When you become something like that, you start to act accordingly. But may, may I put it this way? Many people watching you tonight, watching you talking to us now, many people in Britain, some of them cold, some of them quite poor, will be asking themselves what it is that you and certainly some of your Arab counterparts, sheikhs, rulers, and governments, have against them. Are you, does it in any way serve your interests well, why, to, why, to, to, why? to make the British economy suffer? Why, why again? First of all, it's not the British economy. If you want to say anything, it should be the world economy. And this is not against, we are just defending our chips. Uh, because for such a long time, we have just been, uh, well, exploited, I can't say that. And uh, why don't you say that when uh, the price of uh, wheat was augmented by 300%, they had something against us. We had to buy it, or soybean, or steel products, or petrochemical products, which in some cases have augmented by 30 times. So did you have anything against us when you augmented those prices? Or what I buy from you, even weapons, the price that you are charging today is not what you were charging two months ago. It's increasing. Have you something against us?